I will never forget the first time I rode a two-stroke. The 1995 KX250 burns gas faster than you can mix it. It smells like Al Gore's nightmares. It smokes like a barrel fire. And without warning, without strategy, yet with a touch of malice, it rips your arms off. Two strokes are as stunning as a supermodel with a taser gun, but the experience was never one for the faint-hearted. Until now. This is the KTM 250 XCW TPI, and fuel injection makes it the easiest two-stroke to ride in the world. To prove that fuel-injected two-strokes are easier than Wilt Chamberlain in a whorehouse, we're putting ours up against a bicycle. If you're unfamiliar, the bicycle is an archaic, unevolved, unmotorized type of motorcycle. A machine so basic, the most uncoordinated man alive could get down this mountain on it. But Nora... <laughs> Oh, cock. <laughs> Who carried me? Oh, cock. Whoever our tame bicyclist may be, he races downward while KTM wins upward, proving that our TPI is as easy, nay, easier, to throw around than a bicycle. Begin. Oh, you pillock, honestly. Our cyclopath starts by flaunting his throttle control. How trivial it is to master one manpower. No matter, the KTM has a computer below seat which tells the transfer port injectors precisely how many horses to poke. Move your wrist and 50 ponies line up one by one. Perfectly linear, no more power band stampede, just easy, manageable power. But oh no! While our enduro rider showboats, the bicycle loser begins his descent, a nimble machine making quick work of technical terrain. Fear not, fuel injection goes toe to toe on the way up, making an unusual number of low end torques. The TPI just lugs up messy hills where older two strokes roll back to take another run at it. Our KTM happily wades slower than a senior in molasses, making it easy to put your feet down and paddle. Our meaty bottom end feels for grip without fear of stalling. It grunts like a 300 in cramped quarters, not at all like the spastic 250s of old, which light up the rear like a pothead on April 20th. Useless. But oh my giddy aunt, the training wheels are pulling ahead with their simplicity. Meanwhile, we've got an engine to worry about. 
Normally, this lugging risks loading the engine with a boggy mixture. Instinct says to clean it out with a blip of throttle, lest we foul the spark plug. But retrain your brain and ditch the pocket of plugs, because injection keeps the bottom end leaner than Kate Moss's. Of Stephen. Clear ground, time to gain. All those low maintenance lower revs do add up to a flat spot out here. A boring band of power to clutch over when you want to get on the pipe, and we do. It's easier than hunting for power on a regular two stroke, but still involves more clutching than dumbly plodding through the rev range on a four. One could say the TPI feels exactly like riding a two and a half stroke, if that made any physical sense. It's the perfect balance between how the engine spools up and how it torques. Between weights, mildly heavier than carbureted two-strokes, but light-footed as a bicycle next to comparable fours. In fact, I am so... In fact, I am so supremely confident in beating the downhill dimwit that we shall take a break for storytelling. Once upon a time, everyone loved two strokes. Everyone except for polar bears. So the wicked bears passed a wicked law called Euro 4. And for a decade since, the engine of Deux Temps has been en danger, which is how the French would say endangered if they didn't surrender first. But our hero and alchemist named Katoom went straight to work. He built an entire direct injection platform before deciding it was heavy and crap, so he scrapped it and tried again and again. And after 10 years, when Euro 4 finally kicked in, we had this. EFI squirts precisely the fuel needed, so it never wastes unburnt gas. To my genius wrist, it feels a touch too lean, but that conserves 10% more of your dinosaurs in there. Yet our alchemist has an even better trick. This oil injection thingy knows exactly how much lubrication is needed for a given engine speed and load. In some situations, it's as little as 100 to 1. This opposed to mixed gas, which overcompensates by burning the oil it might need all the time. That's roughly twice as wasteful, twice as despicable to polar bears. And in my motley crew of two smokers and thumpers trying to share gas, twice as annoying. So we gain convenience and waste nothing. Completely dry on the pipe is how two strokes climb into the future. Oh my god, our pedal file is almost at sea level, gulping rich oxygen to turbocharge his meaty motors. Meanwhile, the motorbike should be gasping for air near the Alpine apex. Even a CV carb will be begging for a retune and rejet when choked by such a change in atmosphere. But, witness the brilliance. Our TPI adjusts for temperature and air pressure every time you hit the starter. It's like running a perfectly tuned two-stroke in each environment. Which is great because I find dealing with carbs more annoying than a plate of cold food. Into the final sector now, both machines riding savage. 
We know and love this frame's stability, high torsional stiffness, flickable turns, low longitudinal stiffness for sopping up bumps, all packed with the absolute kitten of a motor. With all, the KTM TPI is a winner. The easiest two stroke to ride aggressively in the world. Meanwhile, our little bike buddy descends on a respectable finish until he doesn't. I have broken my shoulder. Some say he blames the crash on his shoes and that the government of Canada recently legalized a painkiller just for him. All we know is our tame bicyclist never made it through the pro trail. You did. Are you a professional enduro rider? A factory mechanic? The KTM TPI is so easy to ride and live with. It makes anyone feel like a pro. A top gun, a top gear. Having to replace the oil pump adds 150 bucks to your ADR maintenance. Is, is that a lot of money to you? Okay. Uh, diaphragm clutch. They have a lull in force right in the feathering zone. It's way easier on your hands than an old school multi-spring. Do you have hands or? Right. Uh, PDS. Save three pounds, but the linkage would be easier to tune. Preference. No. All right. TPI is really hard to start on a cold day and the headlights shit. You must have at least noticed that. Okay. Blimey, no wonder Jeff didn't buy you two.